From Melrose Arts, this is Art in Action, a series of live art demonstrations by prominent local artists. Working before an audience, the artists describe their process and answer questions about their technique. They show you their approach to art in a very personal way. From the art of encaustic, reverse painting on glass, fiber art, and calligraphy, it's all here. Sponsored by Melrose Arts, a volunteer group dedicated to encouraging the visual arts in Melrose. These monthly art demos are open to the public and free of charge. Today on Art in Action, artist Roberta Gertz shows us some steps in her mosaic making process. Roberta is a color consultant and designer currently exploring the wide range of variations in mosaic art. Roberta has created garden objects, bases, mirrors, and other works with her colorful mosaics. I was thinking about how I would start a piece, and I brought this. I thought these little shapes would be like, I think I would put them like up here, mm -hmm. you know, around here and sort of create a feathery sort of thing. But I don't know how it's going to cut because I haven't cut it yet. So, so here I go. Like to smash that you just I could smash it. But I'm just what you just cut from right in there. I just cut right in it, yeah. Like I'll just go like. <laughs> this is actually cutting beautifully. It just perfect. Um, now somebody else might have, you know, cut this and used it as a piece, which would have been nice. But I can still do it. I think. Oh, almost. But that's kind of neat. That, you know, that might come in somewhere. So, so this is, um, if I did that, it's, there's like a big gap there. But if I cut it, then I lose that really pretty thing. So I'd probably just maybe leave that. So you put extra glue in there. Yeah, I'd put some extra goop. Um, Now that I don't like, so I'd cut that off. That's kind of chunky. I think that's a little, I think I'm going to take off some of this big stuff down here. So, yeah, so that's sort of doing something there. So I just use popsicle sticks and um, start with this piece right here. And you really have to pile a lot of it in there because it, it's going to, oh, yeah. it's got to make contact with the. And I just push it down to make the contact and then I'll just scrape off all that. Extra. So you figure it out as you go along. You don't I do. lay it out. And no. <laughs> I mean, maybe someday I will. Some people map it out like right down to the yeah. color, and I, I'm. I just I'm not there. For me, I, I think it's the spontaneity that's really yeah. relaxing and fun, and I just that's what I want it to be at this point. So what's interesting is there's this big gap here. Mm. I might end up like putting something in there, you know. Um, I brought like little pieces of beach glass. Maybe maybe I'll stick. I'll probably do all these first, and then so that I can play around with it, you know, once the stuff is dry, and maybe fill in that. Fill in that space. Sometimes it has a tendency to slide, mm -hmm. um, so I might, you know, I might do a couple pieces. I've done that before, where I'm working on a couple pieces at the same time, and that way, you know, maybe I'll just like lay that like that for a while. Stick another one there.
this might also work with this color and this yeah. this stuff that we're using here yeah. and maybe some um, sea glass mm -hmm. you know nice. so nice. that's you know that's so that's kind of how I start and get inspired and so for grouting grouting is messy business I was trying to think about what color I wanted to grout this and no, I wasn't sure because I want him to read fairly uh, uniform. But anything dark that I put here is going to show up here as dark lines mm -hmm. in between all these pieces. Mm -hmm. But I think I really like that idea. Mm -hmm. um, it will make the sofa look a little funkier to have black or dark lines running through it. And it'll exaggerate um, this line here too. Uh, and it'll, I think it'll make his coat more cohesive. And these pieces are pretty closely set, so there's not going to be a whole lot of lines through there. I'm going to pour a little water into the grout. It's going to get, you want to mix it up to it until it's uh, kind of like peanut butter, and then it has to sit for uh, like 10 minutes. And you want to mix the water into the grout because it really um, it doesn't take as much water as you think. It's really easy to put too much water in the grout. I'm just going to um, take a blob and smush it in. <laughs> like everything gets hidden, you know. What are you going to do on the edge, Roberta? Um, I think I'll just paint it and, and um, put it in what they call a floating frame. How long does it have to sit before you? Not long at all. I mean, I can start wiping it off now. And after I, um, once I grout it, I mean, I can come back and grout over the grout if I want. All right, so now I'm going to start kind of like taking off the excess here. Okay, so it's, um, it's starting to set up. I can, you know, it's not as gooey. It's getting a little grainy. Um, so I'm, I just keep, you know, kind of scraping it off. I always keep like some clean water and, and, and you, don't, you never put this down the drain. I'll probably frame this in a floating frame. Mm -hmm. That's a idea. So the edges aren't really, you're not going to see that and yet at the same time I didn't want it to be. I, I'll probably end up painting it. more of this off and I so it's it's coming so now with the dog since the pieces are so um, the heights are all so different I'm gonna have to like really go in like each little groove when when I have the grout pretty much off the way I want it um, I can take a piece of co a cotton ball or a very soft piece of t-shirt cloth kind of stuff and that'll take all the residue off. See it just comes so alive. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's getting there. Right? Well, I think this is just about as, I mean, there, there are places, there are places like in these, in these um, corners that I can work on a little more. 
So I think that's just about it. Yeah. 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 Roberta Gertz has shown us the first and the final stages of her process in creating mosaics. A broken piece of china provides the inspiration. She creates a design, adhering various pieces of tile or ceramics to complete her vision. Finally, the color of the ground can truly influence the finished product. Roberta chooses a color that brings out the cubbiness of her silly dog staring out the window. Be sure to check Roberta's website, homewithahue.com, for further examples of her fine work and to learn of upcoming shows and classes. Visit MelroseArts.com for information about Melrose Arts, upcoming events, and future art in action demonstrations. Melrose Arts, dedicated to encouraging the visual arts in Melrose.